boat for its size is the most powerful craft afloat. And Captain Star and his tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. This is the big city port in the 1920s. It was an era of rapid change. The steam engine tugs were in their heyday and were gradually replacing the old sailing scows which were not as powerful nor dependable. Even so, steam in its turn would shortly have to give way to diesel. But it was this period, when the steam tug was in its glory, that is regarded with the most affection. It was a time of great opportunity and none knew it better than the tug companies. Every vessel from the lowliest tramp steamer to the grandest ocean liner depended on tugs to bring them safely into harbour. In fact, the whole working of the port depended on them, and often they were so busy they would work long into the night, usually without complaint. But competition was very fierce, with companies vying with one another to win contracts. Not everybody played it straight. There were those that would stop at nothing to get ahead of their competitors. Generally, though, they were an honest, hard-working group. Tugs is the story of the daily working life of two tugboat companies told through the adventures of Captain Starr's proud fleets of seven tugs and their rivals, the wily, devious tugs of Captain Zero, who display the darker side of the tugboat industry. The series covers key aspects of harbour life and that of neighbouring rivers during the seasons of one year. Stories are based on fact, real events that took place in tugboat history. What you are seeing is a flavour of tugs, an original series produced as a drama entertainment for children.